Hello, and here's my next question from Twitter about PhDs. And this question comes from Wellington in Aotearoa, New Zealand. Hello to Bryn. Bryn Gandy's asked me, who will ever read my PhD? Oh, Bryn. Now, Bryn, who will ever read your PhD? Well, lad, the answer to that question is actually up to you. <laughs> in the old days, you know, it used to be, oh, right, only three people will ever read your PhD examiners will read it, then it'll be on a shelf in a library, and it will never be opened again. That meant something very extraordinary happened, and that's called the internet. And what that's enabled theses to do is be uploaded and be online so thousands of people around the world can read and use your research. Of course, it's indexed through Google and Google Scholar, so thousands of people will read it. And also remember, there's all sorts of different ways you can cut up the PhD now to enable open access journals and print-on-demand publishing. So, you know, in the old days, it used to be pretty tough to get a PhD published. My PhD wasn't published. Steve's PhD wasn't published. But now, with print-on-demand, if you give it a good, tight edit, you will actually be able to get that PhD published or configured into a series of refereed articles. And what I would say to you, Bryn, is also recognise the diversity of dissemination mechanisms that are available to you. Podcasts, vodcasts, Twitter, Facebook, all these different mechanisms can point to your research in really interesting ways. So maybe a lot of people will read your PhD, pick a great topic, and make sure that you are entrepreneurial, you are courageous, and you become your own best supporter for your research. So make sure you go out and you tell people about it. Tell them where to find it.